Good evening, everybody. Uh, it's another edition of Foreclosurepedia Podcast. Foreclosurepedia Podcast is a presentation of the Foreclosurepedia Radio Network, which premieres each Sunday evening at uh, 2300 hours. We've all, from time to time, <clears throat> had a problem with a computer going bad. Now, in this instant case, I have a HP Pavilion 20 all-in-one. And uh, the problem I had is we actually took a direct lightning strike, which came up uh, so bad, you can see it actually fried the old modem we had there. I'll just set that down for now. Fried the old modem, <clears throat> blew out the splitters and everything. We're very rural here. And so our challenge today is that we have data on this hard drive that we need to get out of there. So what we're going to do, and I've already loosened them, we're going to take just a common 99 cent low screwdriver that you use on your cleanouts anyway. There's two Phillips head screws. We're going to loosen them. Now after you've loosened them, there's actually, it's kind of tight in there. So you're going to have to actually come the little flathead, and once again this will be sealed here very lightly. Just going to pop that. Let's pop that out. You can see this is just old old chair here. I'm down here in the office. Um, <coughs> just an old chair. I don't have any fancy benches or anything. And this whole unit will just pop out. This slides off once again with specificity to this model. There's only two screws. If you have a tower, there may be four. But as we're looking here, see there's a lot of interesting things going on here. By and large, that's your DVD. Underneath here and underneath the components in here, <clears throat> you actually have what's called your motherboard. Now that's probably what's fried in our unit, the motherboard. See, here's our USBs, our power switch and everything. What we're going to do is, this here is called the hard drive. Every hard drive has a different type of seating. This is actually probably a, a SATA uh, seating right here, and you have a 2.5, 3.5. It's really irrelevant. What we're going to do, and you can see these little clips here, you don't have to. I went ahead and once again very lightly put my screwdriver, this is a flat head, and just move just a little right down in there, see? Just gave myself a little wiggle room. This piece right here is what links your hard drive into the motherboard and everything that makes things work. I'm going to pull back ever so slightly. See right there? It's popped right loose. Now, let me turn this over so you can see better. This right here is the connection that's important. <clears throat> and you don't even know, have to know what they are. You can order this online. What's going to happen, and this once again is the seating. Can't see it too well, but that's the seating actually makes it talk to the computer. You can see Amazon sells the SATA device right here, 1750 plus shipping. It's really cool. All it does literally is uh, via this will plug into your hard drive. That's your USB. Now we are actually going to deal with a different type of device but you can easily like you come here you can google let's see hard drive USB fitting you can get a billion images for it um, this one right here <clears throat> I'm pretty sure is actually what we're going to go out and get because this one right here, you'll see, has a power device, has multiple link-ups for it and everything. We're going over to Best Buy. It actually costs about twice what you're going to want to order this 
online, what you'd pay online for. But this is the first part of the series, so we're going to go to Best Buy. I'm going to see if they'll let me talk to them a little bit. We're going to film it out there, and we will be right back in a moment. So, we came out here to Best Buy, Turkey Creek, West Knoxville, and we bought us a docking station here. We're going to put that hard drive on there. That's the hard drive, and here's our receipt. Came out to be about $54. And we're going to take our hard drive, we're going to plug it into our device, which will then hook up in here. So we're going to head out from Best Buy and get in the old truck and head. So this is another cutaway portion of this just because I'm a I'm a geek head I always keep a DC to AC inverter here you can see it gives me power for a couple of components plug it into your truck hopefully you're not using a car in the preservation industry so anyway what we have here is <coughs> we have a little unit which is the blacks and uh, what we've done is we have a, a Caviar Blue, this is a Western Digital which actually came out of the HP Pavilion 20 all-in-one. We have gone ahead and connected our USB and we're going to connect it here to the laptop. So here's the back part um, of the laptop, or correction of the hard drive right there. Remember we used to have the silver cage, all we did was remove the little screws out of it and the funny part of this story is I actually had to stop here at Walmart to buy a Phillips because I didn't have it with me so they're 90 cents by the way so not that much investment so what we're going to do is we're simply going to plug into our USB port here and uh, here it made its funny little sound and when I get back to the house we're going to do this from start to finish but I wanted to show you if you're rolling on the road and you have a catastrophic failure, you can uh, you can actually do what you need to do. So you can see here, and I'm going to adjust this over here. You can see it at an angle for a minute. But uh, so it brought us up a couple of a uh, couple of folders here. We're going to scroll down. We're going to go into the users. And double click in this situation and you can see there's all our files everything buddy and you can see it goes back to the old dates and that was our critical issue where we actually have an issue where on our invoices we're going to have to justify them and uh, so now we can so we're going to head back on over to the house and just to show you right above crystal's head you can see we had to stop here at walmart and this little Phillips screwdriver and uh, and that's it so I'm gonna cut away and I'll come back with you on walk you through step by step uh, when we get back to the house so we're back here at the house now we've <coughs> rigged up our uh, uh, little SATA converter you see it comes down here USB cable and you can see back here that's our hard drive you see our connectors here it also has the e SATA for other adapting purposes here's your power button just keys it on and off so we're going to come over here and give you an example if you look let's I don't know let's pick let's pull this one so just that quick but to verify, now this is on that hard drive right there. This is a bid that we did. So now we'll come over here to the desktop, open it up, and you can see right there, same stuff. So once again, we had an issue, as you remember, with the computer. We pulled our hard drive, 
We went out to Best Buy or we went online. Now you can buy this. I like the docking station. This is something <coughs> costs you a little more, but this way you're sure it's stable. There's no issues. We went ahead and run the USB cable. We went to the back. We turned it on and we went and got what we wanted to get. We recovered all our data. So this has been another edition of Foreclosurepedia Podcast. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to reach out to me at coo at foreclosurepedia.org.